Hello guys, this video shows how you can extract curves and flatten them out to make them useful. If you're interested in learning plasticity quickly, be sure to check out my plasticity course on Udemy where you learn a bunch of cool stuff. I just had a new section on the Cyborg Ninja, so be sure to check that out. Link is in the description. So here's just a random object that I made, just, you know, I'm always testing out new features. So if I select this edge right here, this curve, but before I do that, let me show you what we're trying to accomplish here. So if you go in here and you create a line, then you left click here to create this shape and then you close it. As you can see, it becomes blue in the center, which indicates you can now do things with it. You can extrude it and you can use it to cut objects as well. So for example, if I simply, uh, you know, rotate this RR for screen space rotation. I can now select this, press C, select that. As you can see, it's not able to cut into the shape. Very useful. However, the problem is, is that if a single vertex is not flat, if this whole thing is not flat, if a single vertex is raised up here, notice how that effect is now ruined and we can't really do much with it. I mean, we can still do things, but we can't, we can't, uh, you know, cut it or we can't uh, extrude it like that. So, as we work on an object, sometimes we want to go ahead and extract a curve here. So for example, I will select this and that. And by the way, you can hold down Alt and left click to kind of loop this. All right, I'm going to press Shift D. That's the hotkey for clearing it out. As you can see, it's now a separate object here. Now it looks flat, but it really isn't. So we can go ahead and press uh, J just to join it. And so guys, how can we flatten this out to use this? Let's say, you know, I want to have some sort of a cylindrical object going through here. Well, right now I can't extrude this. So here's what you do. You go ahead and press S and here you press V for pivot. So I'm going to set the pivot up. We're going to pick a flat object, which is a flat surface, which is this one right here. As you can see, we need to use the Z axis. So I'll press Z, I'll press uh, zero, left click, right click. All right, so now you can see it's become useful. We can now select this and actually extrude that out. And as you can see, we now have a cylinder running through here. All right, so just to explain what we did. So let's go back to the previous example of, you know, we create this right here and let's move a single vertex up. So what you would do is you would select this S for scale, Z for Z axis, zero to flatten it out left click and then right click to confirm to bring it back so when you're doing this on an angle you need to select the surface so you use the custom pivot command select the surface and then you can do that right here all right let's do some of the more complicated part let's say this right here so we're going to go ahead and press 3 to select to switch to surface face level we're going to select this we're going to go ahead and press Control 2 to convert that to the border curves right here we're going to press shift d to clone that out all right, and let's uh, GG to move this out. As you can see, we now have this thing right here. And so let's go ahead and flatten it out. So I'll select that. I'll press uh, S for scale. I'll press V to set up the custom pivot. I'll select that right there. We want the Z axis, so we'll press Z, zero, left click, right click. And as you can see, it has now become useful. All right, we can now select this, press C, left click on that and as you can see it has now cut through that so we now have uh, two separate objects right here guys so that is how you can extract curves and make them useful thank you for watching and take care